hey guys welcome back to my channel so today this is going to be a favorites video finally i haven't done a favorites video <laughs> i know i haven't done a favorites video in so long i'm so sorry this one is actually going to be a summer favorites kind of like an end of summer kind of thing i don't know it went, i feel like it went by so fast I, it's been like when was the last time i did a favorites the last time i did a favorites was April I think so like the whole summer I did not do a favorite so I wanted to just go ahead and just recap the whole freaking summer and let you guys know what I've been liking so let's go ahead and talk about body stuff first when you in the summer you got to get your body right you got to get your tan you know what I'm saying you gotta be fleeked your body gotta be fleeked tried out this uh, Too Faced Royal Oil when I went to Arizona. Um, I wanted my body to be glowing, okay? I wanted to have glowing skin, but I didn't want to be super oily, and I also didn't want it to transfer too much because I was gonna be wearing a lot of bright colors. I heard a lot about this Too Faced Royal Oil that it does not transfer. It has mango sheen extract, it's coconut oil body bronzer. It doesn't transfer as much. Once it's dried, it does not transfer as much as other body bronzers or body oils that I've tried. And it's it's like body makeup, but it stays on. If you were gonna wear white or something, I would still be careful with it. Um, you wanna put it on before you put your clothes on and let it dry. It just made my body look amazing. And now I feel like I can't wear, like my shoulders are out or anything without wearing this. The only thing about this is that you can only get it on the Too Faced website, which I don't like because I like to get my points, you know, at Ulta or at Sephora or whatever, um, but they don't sell this at any other stores. They only carry it on the Too Faced website, so you have to get it from there. Also, another body shimmer oil bronzer thing that I like is the K-Lux Vacation Body Highlighter. I bought this in like May, um, and I've been using it. I didn't take this on vacation with me because it's too big. It's three ounces, but it is like a glass bottle, so I was kind of scared to take this on vacation with me. But when I'm home, I keep this nearby because I can just squirt it and just rub it all over my body. It doesn't give you a bronzer look um, unless you're like really light-skinned I feel like if you like fair or pale if you have like a lighter skin complexion I feel like this would be more of a bronzer on you but for me this just gave me a nice glow a nice shimmer um, I don't really feel like it gave me a whole lot of glitter or shimmer um, but it does like give you a nice glow I feel like it's very very subtle so for the days where I don't be I don't want to be real extra I just need a little bit of sham sham just to make me look like I tried that day you know like I want to have moisturized glowing skin without doing too much this is definitely something that I really like I've been using it a lot and I haven't obviously haven't used a whole lot of it so it does go a long way I like that it has a dropper only thing about it is I have to shake it up a whole lot because as you can see like the glitter it gets stuck down at the bottom and then the liquid it like separates so you have to keep shaking it um, but once you shake it up it's fine I also like that they have a lot of different smells there's a lot of fragrances that you can get in this so I got the fruit punch one I think it's okay I'm not a huge fan of the fruit punch I probably should have got another one I don't know why I chose that one I got a new fragrance um, I try to I usually stick to the same fragrances. I don't really vary too much with my fragrances, but I did just recently get a new one. Uh, Nordstrom was having their anniversary sale, so I was looking for stuff to buy on the on the Nordstrom website and found this. This was not on sale. However, this is exclusive to Nordstrom, so I know that if I did want to get this, I needed to get it fast before it sells out because once they sell out, they're not going to make any more. Valentina by Valentino, and it's blush. The fragrance is called blush. I also have the other... Uh, Valentino one it's a darker pink um, but I like this one a lot better than that one this one smells a lot better it smells really really good for special occasions I feel like this is perfect if you guys don't know I'm on this health journey if you haven't seen my health journey video you should definitely check that out um, where I'm talking about having optimal health um, and one of the other things my doctor was telling me about your health in general is that what you put on your body has a lot to do with your health as well so lately I've been going to Lush I saw on Lush's Instagram that they have these new shower jellies and so I wanted to try them out so I went to Lush and got the shower jellies getting water everywhere I got the whoosh I don't know it smells like citrus I don't know it smells really good it smells really like refreshing this is what it looks like you can pick off pieces and just use that piece 
What I found the easiest is just to use the whole thing on my body. So I'll take this, I'll wet it, and I'll just rub it. I'll, I'll cup my hand to make sure it doesn't slide out because it is like really slippery. And I'll just rub it all over my body to get like a lather. You can also use it with a loofah, crush it up in a loofah, and then use it that way. I like to just hold it in my hand because I'm a child and I like jelly stuff. Like, look at that. Yeah, I really like it. It's actually really good. It gets me clean. It doesn't make you like squeaky, squeaky clean. But I do like that it does clean my body. I like the smell of it. It's very refreshing. My shower time, for me anyway, my shower time is the time where I talk to Jesus and decipher all of the intricacies of life. This is a great aid to that because it keeps my nostrils open, um, keeps my mind clear. Um, I like that. And then after getting out of the shower, I love Lush's body massage bars. This one is the Each Peach. I believe that's what it's called. I got a tin to keep it from melting, but this is what it looks like. And I just like do one swipe on the parts of my body where I want to moisturize. And because these go really quickly, if you just keep rubbing, it's gonna melt. These go really fast, so I try not to use too much of it, but it just smells so good. And you rub it in. I wish this was a scratch and sniff video so you could sniff my arm. It smells so good. I talked about this in my most recent VTalk video. If you guys have not been watching my VTalk series this year, I've been loving those videos and you guys have been too. I'm really glad that you guys are enjoying them because it's just fun to talk about girly stuff and just be open and honest about your body. I talked about how to get rid of dark spots and just keep your, keep your body from looking a mess after you get waxed or shave or whatever. And this is the aloe vera gel that I've been loving. A lot of you guys asked me questions about it after I showed it in my video. I got it from Mariano's, which is a grocery store near me. This is found a lot at uh, Whole Foods and like healthier stores too. I've actually seen this at Vitamin Shop as well. So really been the only thing that's been helping get rid of my dark spots on my body. Cause I've tried a lot of different other things and they just don't work. Plus I don't like using stuff like hydroquinone and stuff like that on my body. And a lot of those dark spot correctors for your body contain like hydroquinone and stuff. And I just don't, <laughs> Haven't tried a whole lot of new skincare. Um, my main concern for the summer is just making sure I'm protecting my skin um, from harmful UV rays, especially when I am traveling on the plane. My favorite, all time favorite uh, sunscreen is the Benefit Dream Screen. However, that one is always sold out. They've yet to restock on their site or any stores where they sell it. So I just needed an alternative. For those of you who do use products that make your skin more sensitive to the sun, like vitamin C serums, any type of serum that is going to brighten and lighten your skin, you need to wear sunscreen, okay? Even if my melanin and already does the job for protecting my skin, I do use products that make my skin more sensitive to the sun. Therefore, I personally, plan on wearing sunscreen all the time. Do what you want to do. All right, I ain't gonna stop you. Listen, if you believe your melanin is doing its job, let your melanin do its job. However, I'm gonna wear sunscreen. So, for those of you who think that gospel music has gone too far. I've been, I've gotten a lot of products from Glossier, um, but this is the Invisible Shield Daily Sunscreen SPF 35. It isn't like the Dream Screen. The Dream Screen is a little more silky. It has like a silky texture. This doesn't have any texture at all. It's basically invisible. When you rub it in, it's, I mean, it's just invisible. Like you can't see it. It doesn't leave like a greasy residue. Um, it's definitely not like, white or gray or anything. Doesn't smell like sunscreen. Another product that I've been trying lately that I like is the Sukari Baby Facial. Um, this is by Drunk Elephant. I feel like it helps to smooth out pores. Uh, my skin has been doing marvelous. I haven't really had any breakouts. Um, my dark spots are going away. I mean, skin looking like a baby's bottom, all right? <laughs> to the point where I don't even wanna wear makeup anymore. I'm just like, baby, I'm just gonna wear my skin out, boo, what? This has been helping out a lot, mostly for texture. I feel like I needed something just to help with this area of my face right here because I have really big pores on my cheeks. And so I feel like this has been helping to get rid of that and minimize those pores because it exfoliates the pore lining and gets rid of buildup. A lot of people ask me if I get facials and no, I do not get facials because I have this. So, I mean, it just depends on how you wanna invest your money. If you wanna go spend money to get a facial, get a facial. I personally like to use this on my own in the comfort of my own home and it's been working. So yeah, um, that's why it's a little bit expensive. So just in case you're wondering why it's so expensive, cause you're basically getting a facial. So I don't know why, but for whatever reason this summer, I've been having a huge problem with my lips. Like my lips have been extremely dry, um, very sensitive, and the corners of my mouth, 
continue to break. I've heard that that's a vitamin deficiency. I'm not sure which vitamin it is, but I've been taking supplements, so I'm not really sure why this is happening to me. So I don't know if it's maybe something that I'm taking that's been changing my body or something. I don't know. My lips have been under maintenance because they have been a mess. I don't know if you can see. See that? Uh. If I don't put something on it, it hurts. I can't even like open my mouth really wide because I will they'll crack and break and start bleeding so um, I have to keep stuff on it um, two of the things that I've been using for that is Vaseline or I use rosebud salve and this has been helping out a lot this is really random I just want to talk about it because it's sitting here um, but lately I've been sleeping with an eye mask I got this from I got it in the Bobbi Brown PR package. I've seen this before. This is actually available at Nordstrom. It's sold separately at Nordstrom. It's $45. I feel like you don't have to use this one for $45. That's kind of steep. But just in case you wanted one that was silk, this is real silk. So that's why it's $45. So I was actually told to wear one of these, um, a satin or a silk one, to wear it to sleep just to keep my eyebrows from thinning out because I sleep on one side of my face a lot and so this eyebrow has getting been getting thinner. It also just helps me sleep in general. Like my sleep has been a lot better lately. Um, when I wake up in the middle of the night, I don't like get up, you know, like I don't, I'm not up. My eyes aren't wandering. I'm not trying to figure out the shadows in the dark. I can't see anything because my eyes are covered. So um, I really, really like this. I, it's been helping me sleep and I feel like it's very comfortable to wear. I mean, you don't have to get this really bougie one, but if you are bougie, I would highly recommend this. This summer, I've really been about not wearing a lot of makeup. I've been about like natural makeup. So every time I go live on Instagram, People ask me about this product because I talk about it so highly. Um, and this is the Laura Mercier Dark Powder. This is the Medium Deep Translucent Powder. If you haven't tried this yet, get your life, boo. Get your life. Now it is to my understanding that there are other brands on the market that do have something similar to this. So if you have tried something that's less expensive or if you've tried something that is comparable to this that you like better, let me know because I'd love to try it. I actually think I kind of want to do like a setting powder video and talk about all the different setting powders that I love because I have a ton of setting powders. It's very versatile. After I do my primer, I'll set this with powder and it keeps my face from getting oily throughout the day. It keeps me matte. Um, I also like to do this um, all over the face. It doesn't give me coverage, but it makes my skin more even toned because I have a lot of different tones in my skin. I also use this as a base for when I do my no makeup makeup look um, it gives me a very very natural finish to where my face doesn't look weird and pasty and washed out um, so I feel like this is just a really good transition from not having any makeup on to wearing just a tiny bit of makeup it's just a very beautiful powder um, it gives a great finish so after using that powder like I said on my no makeup days I'll use this powder and I'll use a concealer um, I use it to like cover a few spots here and there and it just blends my skin perfectly I don't have to wear foundation or anything for it to blend in it looks like my skin it's matte and it's just gorgeous is the NARS soft matte concealer and this is the color Amande this is my shade for the summer used almost all of it um, it's just really good and I love that it's like a velvety finish it's like a soft matte that's why it's called soft matte bye Vicky bye I do wear primer in the summer even if I'm not gonna be wearing a full face I still try to put on primer just to keep my nose and my t-zone area from getting too oily and the primer that I've been loving for my oils is actually a blurring primer it's not a mattifying primer cover effects blurring primer this is actually the exact same product as the Smashbox photo finish pore minimizing primer this is the one I've been using for the past couple months so just thought I'd mention it I've actually really been loving the black radiance contour palette this is the light to medium one I use these two shades to bronze my face um, I don't they're not necessarily like super dark to where they're like a contour shade but I like it because it's in between a bronzer and a contour so I can wear this in like the hollows on my cheekbones and it doesn't look it looks natural it doesn't look like super super dark yeah I've been loving this palette for that the highlight is nice I don't really like the highlight that much because I use my artist couture Jackie Ina LeBron. Oh, speaking of highlight, another product that I've been loving to highlight with is the uh, Justine Sky uh, collab with MAC, and this is their iridescent pressed powder. 
Um, you guys probably can't tell that it's purple, um, but I have it on today and it looks great with my purple Justine Sky hair. Something that I really didn't think that I would actually really like is this Origins Mascara. It's the Ginseng Brightening Mascara to lengthen and lift. I just like that it's big. I don't know why I like that. It just helps to really lengthen my lashes. I really like this mascara. Something else that I wasn't sure that I would like a lot, but I really, really love, are the uh, House of Lashes lash glues. I've been searching for a clear lash glue that actually dries clear in for like ever. Um, so I got the clear one. I also got the black one because I wanted to try it out. And I like both of them. If you need clear, you got clear. It dries clear. If you need black, it's black but it's thin. So I can apply a thin layer and not get it all over my eye and not look like I have like really heavy glued up eyes, like I used hair glue on my lashes, which I never suggest you do. I don't like when people use hair glue on their eyelashes. That is a hot mess. And then the last products I have are lip products. Um, I have the Glossier Lip Gloss. It is so glossy, like it's ridiculous. Like I've never tried a gloss that like just looks like your lips are like patent leather. I don't know, it's, it's crazy. The Velvet Mousse by Hard Candy. I love this, this is the color Daffodil. I've been wearing this like every day. Um, I've also really been loving um, Karen. Um, I love Sarah too. A collab with ColourPop, I've really been liking her lip colors. So I have her lip gloss and her 951. I also really like the lip liners too. It was a really good collab. I really liked all the colors in her collab. So uh, her lip colors have been definite go-tos for me. I haven't really tried any new apps that I really love. I do love this game called Balls. You pull back and you catapult the ball and you try to get all, rid of all of the blocks before they hit the bottom of the screen. And I've been playing this game, like this was like my game that I just play when I'm bored or whatever. First of all, I've been trying to find new ways to de-stress um, and one of the ways that I found very, very helpful has been playing PlayStation. Um, and I recently got a retro game that I love called Crash Bandicoot. We all know about Crash. We all know Crash. If you don't know who Crash is, you are not a 90s child. They revamped it for PS4 all the whole month of July because Good Mythical Morning ended like in the mid July, so I don't have anything to do with my time in the morning. So I just play PlayStation. And I've really been loving that game. I'm also about to get Parappa, cause I heard Parappa the Rapper is on. My dad actually FaceTimed me last night and was playing Parappa the Rapper. So I'm definitely gonna get that next. Now I did have a discussion with my Instagram, or no, my Snapchat fam about how I was mad about That's So Raven coming back with Raven's Home. And I must say, that while I am still upset that they're trying to redo this and trying to make this whole show with her kids, the show's not that bad. Um, and Devon is on it, Devon to Feliciousness. So <laughs> I'm glad that Devon came back and I'm glad that they have a good relationship with their father, the children, even though her and Devon are divorced. To me, I just feel like that's so sad. I didn't want them to get a divorce. I wanted her and Devon to get together and stay together. Like, <laughs> so I'm rooting for them. I'm hoping that somewhere along the line of this show, they get married again. Yeah, that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up so I can remember to do more favorites. I've just been really like frustrated with YouTube in general because it just feels like all the genuinity of YouTube has been like sucked out. And it's like now it's like really superficial and people just like to see drama and if you hate something they just want to hear you talk about negative stuff and how you don't like this and how you don't like that and I'm like that's not me I love favorites I like to talk about stuff that I really like I made that one anti haul but I, d I didn't like making that video I didn't feel good making that video I felt like I was talking negative and I don't like being negative I like to talk about stuff that I really like and enjoy if you do like favorites videos make sure to give me a like and a thumbs up and leave a comment and just stay engaged on these type of videos to let me know that you want to see more of them and I'll just try to do more of them because you guys want to see them. Um, I know what I like. If you want to see, then let me know. That's all. I'm done. I'm rambling. I need to eat something. So I'm going to go, but I will talk to you guys in my next video. I love, love, love you and I'll see you later. Bye.